First, we are tracking the tropics out there this morning. Tropical storm Brett could become a category one hurricane by the end of the week. Let's get straight to first alert meteorologist Katya Hall and Chris. There actually have been changes to the latest track and now not expected to become a category one hurricane, but instead remain a tropical storm as it moves towards the lesser Antilles. I want to show you the tropical satellite here and you can see both these systems that we're tracking both tropical storm Brett and invest 93 L uh, do not look as healthy as they once did this time yesterday, and that is because they are running into a whole lot of wind shear and invest 93 L still has a high chance of development over the next two to five day or two to seven days. I should say. However, I do think they will drop the development chances with this system because you can see it does not look very organized at all on the satellite imagery. Now tropical storm Brett looks a little healthier than invest 93 L, but it is still running into a whole lot of wind shear. When we're talking about wind shear, that's when winds change different speed or direction with height. It limits tropical development essentially ripping off the tops of those thunderstorms. So you can see it's in an environment where there is a whole lot of wind shear. It will have a brief period throughout the next day or so to run into some low wind shear. But notice once again, as we head into the Caribbean, we're seeing those brighter colors popping up, indicating wind shear increasing once again. And so that will weaken the storm as we head into the weekend and as it moves into the Caribbean. So uh, the system is moving a little faster. Again, it is expected to remain a tropical storm not expected to be a hurricane and the track has shifted a little bit more south. So here's a look at the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. It is expected to remain a tropical storm as it pushes over the Lesser Antilles on Thursday and then entering the Caribbean Sea as a tropical storm with winds up to 60 miles per hour by early Friday morning into the weekend forecast. Once again, it's going to run into a whole lot of wind shear, so it does look like uh, winds have dropped off to about 50 miles per hour. We are under a severe weather threat today. We'll have a look at our local forecast coming up in just a few minutes, Chris.